What's up there everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you should consider subscribing. I have a whole ton of playlist videos because this video is gonna be something completely different than uh, what we've usually done on the channel. So definitely check out those other videos, subscribe, like, and comment this video. So for those of you that are regular subscribers and regular viewers of my channel, we're just gonna go over some little updates that I have on, uh, that I've done on the car in the past couple days and uh, show you a couple changes that, not really changes, but Updates, some stuff I added to it, and then we're gonna jump into uh, to basically the title of this video. It's pretty much why you guys clicked on this. As a parts update, I uh, pretty much this is the only box I guess I got. So this is the Preonto uh, 10 inch entry and four inch exit uh, velocity stack made out of pure carbon. So that's new. I dug up my old headlight from my basement, and this thing was beat up. I don't think they can. Well, maybe. Maybe the camera will show it. So you can see how it's like cracked. So imagine this, but like five times is worse in this whole area right here. And it was all yellow from the clear, just fading in the sun. And I took about an hour just sanding this, trying to get it as close to decent as I could because you know, this is where I'm gonna cut to put the velocity stack. I'm not gonna cut obviously the good headlight. Yo, that yellow, you know, yellow high beam. It looks good like that. But I'm not going to cut this one off because this is my regular street headlight. This one I'm going to be putting on every time I go to the track. We're going to try to help the arrow a little bit. Instead of leaving that whole empty hole like I used to with the little one, we're going to put the carbon stack right here and just try to force it exactly where we want it. And if it's not going to go there, it'll just go around the car. So this, it's not perfect. I still got to shoot some clear on it, but I was just working on that. I have a solution for the, for the PCV. So what I ended up doing was cutting the OEM PCV, like the, there's a little flange around it. So I cut it even to the hex to where you got to tighten it. And it, it just made it, but it's not, you're not going to be able to see it, but I actually had to shave a little portion. Right, You can see where my finger is. Let's, let's zoom it in for you. I had to shave a portion right there of where one of the bolts thread in for the, for the manifold to, to uh, connect them. Once I did that, I was able to tighten it up. So I'm just going to, I'm running my, uh, I have some spare vibrant hose, 6 a.m. So I'm running this into one of the ports on our manifold. I found, one of you guys actually mentioned it, and then I emailed uh, Skunk2, the last port in my last video when I was assembling the whole manifold. There was this one port that I didn't know what size it was. It was bigger than all the other ones, and it didn't come with a fitting. Well, it turns out, what size was it again? I have it right here. All right, so it's a 3 8 NPT with a 3 8 barb. So that's why I ended up putting on there. And now I just ran my brake booster hose. So it's this guy right here and it goes all the way to the brake booster. That's on. I'm ordering some more um, finishers for the lines like I have on this one just to make it look a little nicer. So that was done. And one of the main things that we left off in the last video was the little spacers for the fuel rail. So I made my own. I went out, I bought some um, half inch circle uh, round piping. I cut it, I painted it to the size I needed and those are the spacers. I still have some leftover piping right here, or, or tubing I should say. So you can see where I was cutting it up. I think I still have the size right here if anybody's interested, you wanna make your own spacers. Yeah, it's a half inch by 1 and it's 36 inches long. So that's pretty much all the updates that, wow, no focus. All right, that's all the updates I did. I'm waiting for longer bolts, obviously, because I don't want to run the studs. So I'm going to run bolts. Those are coming. Waiting for finishers on that. I could probably take this tape off. Um, waiting for clamps for our hoses. The intake piping I just ordered. So once the intake piping comes, we can start routing our intake. So what we're going to do is probably route the intake make a normal one as one video and then make the exit for the V-Stack. And then in a separate video, I'll start cutting this headlight up and we'll, we'll figure this out because I haven't done this. So I'm gonna learn as I go with that. And uh, our parts pile is coming down to nothing. I still have to put this uh, fuel filter on. So that'll do whenever I get a chance. That's the valve cover hardware. That's a new spark plug cover that. That's just, spare stuff I bought so that's not going on I have to put these in these hybrid racing uh, shift cable inserts on and I don't have this with me right now 
it's not in the garage at the moment, but I'm just gonna big major shout out to Carter. You guys know Carter. We we were building his Civic during the summer. We took a break on that. Carter came in like super clutch. I wasn't expecting this for Christmas. He gave me this big ass box and he said, "Merry Christmas." All right, thanks, bro. That, that's pretty heavy. I opened it up. It's a K-tuned billet RSX short shifter. I mean, I wasn't even expecting that. So Carter, really, I appreciate that so much. He's such a big supporter of of what we're doing here. I don't want to say the channel. He's he's a supporter of, of, of me. You know, he wants to see the car go faster. So we're going to be installing that, definitely. So we'll do the shifter. We'll do the shift uh, cable inserts. We'll do all that in one video. And yeah, thanks, Carter. I, just, I had to put that out there. So whenever we start going into the interior, you guys will see the cable, uh, the shifter. I bought a fifth gear lockout for it. I bought some more add-ons to it. If we're gonna put we're gonna put that box in there, we're gonna make it so we're power shifting and we're not gonna screw anything up. So fifth gear lockout is coming out. And that's, that's quick updates for what's been going on. Now let's get to why I'm gonna make this video. As you saw by the title of this video, why did I choose the R6 as my drag car? All right. So a couple days ago, I was watching this video and it was. Um, Basically, this guy was talking about the racing scene and why the nitro cars are Civics or why you should use a Civic as a drag car. And it just got me thinking as to, you know, why did I choose the RSX as my, my drag car? You know, it's a street car, but I take it to the track. And um, basically, the reason why I chose the RSX is I, I love the body. I think the RSX is such a unique looking car. It, in Honda's platform, you know, it's just the, the RSX is it, the lines on it. I, I I really love the RSX, and obviously, if you're first getting into the scene or you're upgrading from a Civic, well, the RSX already comes with a K twenty eight too, so you're gonna get the power right out of it. Now we know the RSX is heavy. I know that you guys know that most of the racing scene knows that, which is why these cars are not used to drag race that much. Now there are guys out there like Mike Roman. It's a good friend of mine. I love his RSX. I think it's the fastest all motor RSX. I could be wrong. Uh, Ivan, Ivan Diet, you guys might know him from Instagram. He had the silver gutted RSX. That thing ran a 10, a 10.9 or a 10.8 all motor. Like these cars are capable of going really fast, but it, 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 it takes a lot of work to do it. And I understand that, but to me, I feel like that shouldn't discourage someone. Like, why should you follow the crowd just because it's it's easier? Now, I understand it. it's easier to go faster in a Civic, which means it's cheaper. But in the long, I mean, like, I don't know. For me, another reason why I chose it is because it's different. Not to say, like, you know, it's good to be different. I mean, in a way, it is good to be different, but... I'm not one just to, to follow the, the crew, you know, the group or to follow thing. And, and sure, I don't know if you guys remember Danny. Danny was the one with the red CRX, which actually he told me, he, he was talking to me earlier, and that car might be making a comeback. He, he's, he's getting some parts for it, so you guys might see that car again. But Danny was one of the biggest ones that would always say, you know, why don't you just take the motor out, put it in a Civic, and you'd be in the 1150 class or, or, or whatever. And I, I can guarantee you now, if I was to take this motor out now, right, let's say after I'm done with this, that'd be a 10 second Civic all day. And I I'm, and I never argue with anybody like that. I, I know it, it'll be quicker, but but I've built my reputation around this car. And and I, I like people recognizing me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm usually the only well, Maybe the only RSX, if not out of two or three RSXs, when I'm at, whenever I'm doing my bracket racing. So you know, it's like people know, oh, that's Sergio because I have the black, the satin black RSX, or, or you know what I mean? Like you know, everybody knew Ivan. He had the silver RSX, and in general, I just I chose the RSX because I love the way the car looks, and I didn't care that it wasn't as fast, or it, it couldn't be as fast with the same amount of money as a Civic. Like, I, I, that's not what I did it for. I didn't do it because I wanted to catch up to those guys. I did it because this is the car I wanted to race with. You know, so like the 8th gens or the ninth gens, you know, they're, I, I'm assuming they're around the same weight. 
as an artist sex, but everybody has this thing where it's like, well, I can't make it. I can't make it my race car just because it's going to be so much harder to compete with these guys. Well, to me, like, get that out of your head. If that's the car you want to make a race car or that's the car you want to race with at the drag strip, then do it. It's going to be a lot more expensive to do it. Yes, but you know what? That is the car you wanted to race with. So why should it matter? If like, don't don't do this to try to keep up with people. Do it because you want to race. Like that's why I race. I, I love racing, and that's why I do it. I love racing with this car, and that's why I do it with this car. I'm not worried about trying to to be as good as the next person in the other lane or whatever. I do it because I I enjoy it. Whenever I get to that level, I get to that level. So like. Yeah, I could put a set of ITVs on this. I could put, you know, like a fender exit or a hood exit and make this, you know, like an M1 all motor, make it a real, a real killer. But it, it's not worth it to try to keep up with those guys with, you know, with the amount of money it's going to take me. It's just not worth it. So I don't even try. I race at my own pace. Am, I'm, am I looking to move up out of bracket? Sure. And that could be another video about bracket racing. But that's what I like about bracket racing. I have my car, I have my setup, I know what it does, I have my own class, I have the own people that I can race with, there's no like, you have to be this fast, you just show up as fast, you know, whatever you're going to race, they're going to match you up with another car, whether they're faster or slower, and you, you can just go out and race, so, you know, I just, that, that really got me thinking as to why... Why should people just constantly think like I I, I need I need a Civic? It, it doesn't make sense to me, honestly. You know, if you if you like your RSX, race with the RSX. If you like hatches, you like bubbles, race with those. And if you're just doing it to go fast, and I'll agree with everybody. Yeah, get a bubble, get a coupe, get a hatch, cut it up, put a K in it, put whatever you want to do, and it'll be a lot cheaper to go fast and keep up with those guys. But I don't think it should be a competition as to, uh, I shouldn't say that because I, I obviously it is. Racing is competition. You're racing against somebody, you want to beat them. But you shouldn't go into it thinking that I need this because you really don't. Unless you're looking to go into like the all motor class tomorrow, then right, you could. But I've been proved that you can be a 10 second RSX by cutting. I think he made like 305 or 310 all motor on an M1 and ran, running tens. So imagine putting a turbo on that motor and and really working, you know, like a corner balance, you getting the chassis to go straight and being able to put all that power down, you'd be a low 10 in that car, maybe high, and you know, you'd be in a totally different class. So yeah, that, that's just my opinion, you know what I mean? And I, I really wanted to to sit down and kind of have this conversation and, and really like segue into something else. So if you guys are interested in my thoughts or a little more about me, you know, like how did I get the RSX? What other cars have I owned? You know, I, I feel like this is perfect. It's not a podcast. It's really just you guys leave in the comments, the questions, even topics. I got Kenny that I can get to join in on this. I got Carter that I can get to join in on this. I even have Danny. Danny is older than me. And Danny's older than me by a good amount of time, you know, like good five or six years. So he was doing this before I even had my license. He was in, in the Honda scene when like Fast and Furious came out. So Danny has a whole different other, you know, a whole lot more experiences than I did when, when Fast and Furious was around and like what he saw, he saw the trends as they progressed. I kind of jumped into this, into the scene, you know, when when Fast and Furious was already, you know, a set thing, but then the neons and stuff started to go away. That's when I started getting into into the Honda scene. So I can even have Danny in here and he can explain the trends, how they went, how he saw them. He showed me pictures of his CRX when he first got it and some of the stuff he was doing to it. So I feel like this is gonna be good. This breaks it up, this breaks the channel up. It's not just only repair videos or what I'm doing in my car or what I'm doing in other people's cars. Like now we can we can talk and Definitely, if you leave the comments, I'll read them all. I'll do a 15-minute video, a 20-minute video of explain, answering those questions or answering the comments or whatever you guys want to know. And I think this is really going to help the channel. It's going to help the channel grow. It's really now it's kind of keeping up with the times. This is what people want. People want to know a little more about me, a little more of how I know 
what I know, I know I've seen that in, in videos. People ask me, how did I learn how to work on cars? That's, that would be a good topic. How did I learn to do all this? Just, I think it's time to really open the channel up now and really let's, let's just talk. Let's let it, let's get to know each other. Let's not, this is not just a repair channel. Now we're going to try to move up. We're going to just level up now. We're almost at 15,000. So if you guys could please help me hit 15,000. I think at the time of this video, we're at like 14,007. I want 15,000. I would like 15,000 before the end of the year, but you know, that's another three, 300 subscribers I need. It can happen though. I mean, it, next week is the new year. So I'm going to just leave it there. This was a very short video. This is like an introduction. And please let me know what you guys want me to talk about, what you want me to explain, who you want on here. Danny's a character, man. Dan, Dan, me and Danny, we go back. We go back you know, a ways. Danny's hilarious. I always, I always love talking to that guy. And Kenny, Kenny's like my right-hand man. He's just full of knowledge and full of the... Toyota scene. So if I got some guys that are not just in the Hondas, Kenny knows all that. Carter, Carter too, man. Carter's just hilarious. Me and Carter, go, we can go back and forth all day. So please leave your comments down below. Hit subscribe if you're new to this channel. Let me know what you guys want to know. If you want to know more about the RSX, I know I did a, a, a build video explaining how much it costs me, but people keep asking like what's done to the car. So that could be a separate video. I could really just break it down, not price-wise, but what is it done to the car, how the car got to this point, what was my first mod, just, just silly stuff like that, whatever you guys want to know. So I'm going to cut the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay motivated and keep making those streets louder.